Yeah, hello, and welcome to this tutorial about another Brick in the Wall. You know, this game can be pretty complicated, but I have some tips and tricks. So the first tip is if you do not want, uh, want to watch this video, always start with the tutorial. This game is very complex and only gives you a little bit of looking into the game. It doesn't really tell you that, you that much in it. So there's a lot of stuff you have to find out yourself. So I'm gonna be starting without it because I'm, I obviously have seen that tutorial a few times. So the first thing I want you to do is build a store. I like to build it a bit big, like 1080. So when this is done, I'm gonna be coming back. Okay, so it is done now. So when it is done, you have to go under objects and all. I have not found a place here saying doors. And if you go into any other, you cannot find the doors. Not even decoration. So that's a thing you have to find on the all at the first. And just by the double door. And you have to build a door because they can't get in elsewhere. And also remember to put put to put staff doors. Because if there's thieves, they can just leave like that, instead of you know, placing anti-theft things right here. So the next thing I want you to do is to think, would, is your store for food or for other things? Because that's a very big step. If you mix it up, you actually make your store an everything store, which lowers the quality of things. So if you only sell like healthcare, people will think it's a healthcare store. And that ups the price a lot. So my tip for you is to start off by building these food shelves. And build a few of them. You can build it up at the top and even here and there. And when it's done, instead of letting the time go, just press space. You have to assign it to a store then. So let's now build the store section. Like that. And let's also build another foundation over here. If you do it like this, it will like add on to, but if you drag it from here, it will delete that wall. So keep that in mind. So when they are building this, you have to decide, do you want some some things to be in here because you still obviously have a lot of money so machines you can choose a few of these machines these arcades will attract some gamers who will play these machines and when they are done they might as well go buy something so i definitely recommend doing that and also giving them an atm so they can buy multiple stuff But now do do remember not to use way too much money, and also build only staff doors when it's onto these rooms. Also remember to assign them. I will also recommend you to not buy too many of these. You have to have enough to 
So every shelf, uh, but not more than that. And also get one of every single item, because that's the best source of profit, because people want different things. And if they can find these, they are gonna buy it. So as you can see, I bought two too many. We have a few of drinking, which is on the beverages. They are gonna be a type of one thing, but the other ones, they are gonna be something else. We have to link a storage and assign a stock clerk. Always choose the fastest one. Because pace is the key. Also make him work a lot, so. I would recommend opening up at 6 and closing at 20. And then set this dude here to come a bit earlier. And going home a bit later. So if your shop opens at 6, set him in at 5 so he can restart the things you need. When you need to get a cashier, you do not need to think about this cashier skill. Just think about the patience and the sociability. This person right here is horrible. Let's ban her. This one isn't that good either. So I'm gonna be choosing her as our cashier. And even buying and uh, hiring another one. The speed! That describes how fast your person moves. The patience is how patient the people in the queue are gonna be. And the sociability is how happy your, your customers are. So high so sociability means when they meet some from the staff, they might get happier. Remember to, to give them the right time. Auto salary is also a good thing because satisfaction means how, f how productive your team is. So if their satisfaction is at zero because they do not get the amount of money they think they owe, they, they need to get, they're gonna be not so happy and not work as fast or as efficient as they could. When you have found the perfect staff, you can now go ahead and place this, the checkout counter. Checkout counters, they Oops, not two. Check out counters. That's where your cashier is gonna be. Now I have opened my business, it says, but I do not have anything for them to be in. Maybe there will come a few gamers, but not so much else. The next thing you want to focus on is building another of these rooms. This room is gonna be your office room. You're gonna have office office desks here. If you go in to build and go down to office, not this room, office, you can place an office desk. I would recommend placing two of them. And also, always remember to place a staff door because as you can see, they can't get in and work. So we have to build a door, which is under all if you remember. And a good way to earn money if you are low on them is doing these objectives, like selling 10 different types of products. We have 10 different. Also, mm, assign this office an office because else you cannot hire. If you want to hire an officer, click on the zone, left click it, and click manage office. 
and then click Staff and Hire Office Worker. This person doesn't need to have any special things, just the office work skill, and it will improve as time goes. I'm gonna hire two of them because I, well, I want to research a bit faster. You can also click Shift Planning if you want advanced planning. Like now it says he works from 0 to 8. You can extend that period. Your workers will only be able to work for 15 hours straight. And the better your staff are, the more will cost. It also shows a curve down here on when your staff is working. Next you need to begin researching something. I like to start researching some of the more expensive stuff, like the electronics. But that takes a pretty long time, so if you do not want that, then, then go for the clothing supplier. That's almost as good. But if you want it to be the food branch, you might need to get the code chain. Okay, now you have a store, you have uh, this room right here, you have an office, you have some workers, but you still need a few things. You need to build a road a bit out, and you have to get a loading zone. It can only be built along an existing road, and that means it has to be built, so she has to build a bit faster. The loading zone will allow transportation of of the stock, you know, of the food, the drink, the snacks, everything to place. They will, begin, they will begin delivering these crates, which your stock clerk will take, and he will take these ones and put them on the shelves. So he will basically restock. You also need another thing. Also on the road work, you have to get a garbage pickup. A garbage pickup allows your janitors, which you also have to hire, to put the trash somewhere. somewhere. To hire a janitor, you have to go into your maintenance center, press that and hire janitor. I would recommend taking the fastest. So when you have that, you can place the, just make them work from like the, just making the person work the same way as the stock clerk, but just an hour late, just an hour more. Yeah, our office worker is on the way. They will progressively begin researching the code chain. Now, it's just a it's just a thing about waiting. But to improve your profits, you can also build some customer parking. I would recommend not filling this these two spots here up because you might want to expand down. Because down here you can get another way of people kept coming in, same over there and here. And do not build too big things in the start. Build small and simple. Now when it's the next day, I want to go ahead and build a trash can too. It's on the all or store. It's also on the restroom because you have to throw trash out of at most places. So I want to go ahead and get this trash can and I'm at, I will put it at here and there and also here. 
So the builder will build the things you assign them for first, and then the will they will go in and build this those decoration things. So as you can see, our stock work has come. Already restocking, that's great. As you can see, here you can see more advanced details about your products. This is a tier 2 shield, because this is a store mostly filled with food. And when it's filled with 76% of food, it's that means that it's a grocery store. And when it's a grocery store, every single food item will be worth more. Or at least a few more people want to buy it. You can see more advanced data by researching the thing called sales monitoring. Then you can see who wants what and yeah. These are the beverages. If you make a store only with these beverages, you will get a bit more profit. And you can also put these beverages on other places than the food shelves. You can also put them in the fridge, where you can also put beer later. So now you might see that people are beginning to come up and buy. If you see that the queue is going to be longer than four people, you might consider building another one of these checkout counters. I can already see it going wrong, so I'm going to go ahead and build one of these more. In the start, when they say this, do not, do not build more, unless until you have another one of these workers, unless people, people's satisfaction are going to be going down. As you can see, it's falling down quite hurry. If this customer does not get to the cashier in time, and the satisfaction is at zero, your customer will leave unsatisfied and not come back the next day. So definitely keep an eye out of, for that. So I'm gonna be buying another, hiring another cashier, who's gonna work from 9 until 20, which is the closing time. Because I set it to that, our worker will now come at work and fill up. The first few days you might get a loss and that's, that's normal. That's not something new. The next thing you want to do is build a road down. And then, might cost a lot, but it's all worth it. Also build customer parking, because now when you have two cashiers and the queues aren't gonna be as full, you're not gonna be having that much trouble. This dude right here, he's playing a game and he also gave us five dollars. But some people, Let's see if I can find one of them. How unlucky can I be? But some people are... <sighs> can I get an example? I would really like an example. Like here, he's a carnivore. He can't resist fresh meat. So if you want him to buy fresh meat because it's worth more, you might consider placing fresh meat by the door so that he goes by it and he sees it and he can't resist it. Then he's gonna be taking it and 
buy it. Honestly, that happens, but do not care about that in Star. But if you want, you can all you can always buy more custom parking. But when you see that the lines are gonna be filling up, I would recommend saying when it's four people, you might consider buying another one of those checkout counters. But if you want to get even more customers because you somehow can't get these small pots right here filled up, you might consider building another room. Just a bit up. And I build it a bit too small. So now when your builder is done down here and there, he will begin building the next room while you're at it place a double door and if you can see up here I'm gonna move away, that's a very irritating noise. If you can see, back to school season. That means that in four days and seven and, and zero hours, in four days and zero hours, school supplies are gonna be very much more taken because people need school supplies more. The same with laptop computers, pants, t-shirts and dresses. So that's a good way to sell a lot of other stuff. So let's just repeat this again. Let's make another store. Let's left click it. Link the storage to the to our little storage down here and let's begin building inside it the second thing you have a lot of is this so you can place a lot of that if you want I would recommend doing so um, I like 15 that's a cool number and then just copy what you have down there. And let's buy some staff. Let's hire some staff. And we want a lot of sociability and page, patience. Page, patience. Some would say patience is better and some would say sociability is better. I, I like having a bit of both. Because patience will make them have longer satisfaction while waiting in the queue, and sociability makes them happier when they are done and, and when they come out from the queue. So, as you can see, he has, he has brick addict. He can't resist brick based toys. So, if you want some brick based toys to be sold, then put them in the front of the store, and he will see them, and he put, it, and he will not be able to resist it, to resist it. But now we have a cashier. He's gonna start working at six again, and and he stay in fourteen hours. I like the fourteen hour mark. Um, as you might have seen I have built two of these so I'm gonna be hiring a second one too he's a perfect dude even though he isn't that good at everything that's not a good trade but I'm gonna be keeping him because I need him he's the fastest let's now shift planning 20 
is gonna go put back and work all day. And now it's time to select products. If you want to put multiple products on the same shelf, you can just choose it down here on the sign and then products and then maybe board games and just hold and click. Drag, click and drag. But I guess you do not want that, so I'm I'm just gonna be going into here to see which category it is because it, you cannot see the real category else. I want to sell the health and beauty section up here because there's these three things right here. People do only want those in this second tire and not so many want them in the second tire either they just want those three items here in the first tire so the other things right here i guess i'm gonna be going with we have a few board games i guess i'm gonna be going with the household goods maybe some school supplies and then again the same thing right here because remember it has to be over 50% of a certain thing and then maybe maybe greetings cards yeah greetings cards So this store will eventually be built and restocked. And as you can see it's household goods for 53% of the things. Which means that all of these ones right here they are tie 2. The ones up here are tie 1 because the health and beauty genre is not filling the whole place up. So in now you just have to wait. While waiting you can easily fill some more customer parkings in. I personally like to build a little road up and out and then build those as staff only parking which means your staff only may be there or park there. Which makes it, which makes more space for your customers to be. And here I made her say that she should only come at eight, so she she only comes at eight. You might have seen it, but the lines are getting quite long. And she has a red face, that means her satisfaction is very low. You might see it, but satisfaction wheel really is getting lower and lower. Here, here we might even need to build a third checkout counter. But they do not have time because they're building all of this. I guess it's not the biggest problem right now. No one has gone angry home. So you can see someone is going up and taking some diapers. You can see here what you're earning. We earned 30 bucks for what he bought. You can also see what he has bought. And he bought bed sheets. So you can look at the bed sheets and you can see it's from 18 to 36 dollars you can earn. He bought bed sheets. So you can see that it's just between those two. You, you see the quality. 
boosts while we are looking at it. That's just quality. And he has bought a, th a few things. Is he buying something else after this? No, he's just going home. But this makes customers be in here longer. The next thing you want to learn about is making people buy the expensive stuff, expensive stuff instead of the cheap stuff. And I'm just gonna be hiring another one of these. She's not good. Let's ban her. You can also refresh it by doing this and then go in again. But remember, if you fire a cashier, which I do now, if they then go in again, you can see she pops up again because she wants to find a job. You can ban her later if you want, but not really recommended. Well, she she won't be working. So now we should have a solid worker list. The queues are really getting filled up. They can maximum be 10 in a queue. So until this block right here. You can see it's almost filled up and he's very angry. His satisfaction is really low. Oh. He made him just in time. He looks happy, he isn't that happy. And as you can saw, the satisfaction went a bit more up than before. And that's because our cashier here, she has a bit of sociability. Not a lot, but she has a bit of sociability. Which makes the people get cheered up after. We might have a few angry customers who, who, who leave the store. Also, alcoholic. Now, we're gonna be going for the frozen food supplier. can see we have missed a sale opportunity because someone couldn't stand in the queue for longer. She might not even do stay in the queue. She's gone. Look, it went to zero and now she's out of the queue. She's going home and making a stink. not English, I do not know what that means. So eventually, when they are done, they will go back in and slide off. Or build more, uh, depending on what you chose them to do. I will build another customer parking, which is pretty dumb looking at the time. But I guess that's okay. Look at that, the queues shrank. shrank. We have used, they ha we had a few of these usages and we also had a few profits going on on these. But now we have the cold chain. Which means we are going to be buying another object, which is called the fridge. And you obviously know what a fridge is, it's where you keep your cold stuff. And milk is pretty popular, I have heard, and dairy is also. Fresh meat and fresh fish is too. And we're going to have a bit more dairy. Because if we have... Okay, that's not so good. I want this to be dairy and that to... No. Okay. 
Let's see. Fish. As you can see, milk. The milk gives us only two to four dollars of profit. So if we move that back in the store, so people have to go look at other things on the way, they might take the more expensive stuff instead of this really not so expensive stuff. And that's why I would like to put the milk somewhere else. Well, we're gonna be building another store in another episode, but right now we're just gonna be focusing on researching and, and unlocking things. Because we're not losing that much money, we're still losing, but not that much. Today we lost 8 customers, which will not come back tomorrow. Fish meat, fish, fish, dairy, and milk. So I hope that will do it for you guys, so thank you for watching this tutorial season thing because because it's not gonna be that small or short it's gonna be in a few episodes because also it I would have infinite money so thank you for watching and bye